Hey guys, I thought I'd share a failure with you. That happens a lot, it always happens a lot. If you don't see me on YouTube, if I don't have a project to show you for a while, like a month, as it has been, then it's probably because I've failed at something and it's been embarrassing and uh, I've decided not to do any more things. Anyway, you remember I was making that solar charger uh, and it was gonna charge up a, a battery and then boost that battery voltage to five volts so I could run an Arduino, charge my phone, whatever. Well, I've gotten further with it and it's not dead yet, it's not, it's by, it's not over, but I did make a circuit board, printed uh, circuit board, well, milled circuit board, I guess, and designed it all by myself. Um, let me give you a little closer up, closer up look. We'll go for that, it's fine. So this is the board, that's the, uh, this is the bottom side of the board with a big ground plane all along. Um, you've got a couple of shift registers here, then up here we've got these seven segment displays. Uh, it's really hard to tell from here, but that there is the 80 tiny 85, uh, and somewhere over here is the Max 1811, and somewhere else on there, I can't really see from this side of the board that I'm looking at, is the L6920DB. Now, there's also the top side of the board, which I had to put some components on. No, I had to route some components through, it's more accurate. Um, but you'll notice there's a bit of an issue with that. Uh, I didn't do a ground plane. So, um, the machine had to mill all of this copper out. So that meant it took forever and I ruined one of the machining bits that did that. So, well done me, they weren't very happy. The other problem with this is the holes. Can you see how tiny they are? Basically with this board I'd be lucky to even get a, uh, a resistor through the holes on here. It's not surface mount, I'm using dip technology, uh, mainly because it means I can get it printed uh, at work, thankfully. Thanks work. Um, so these holes are tiny, I didn't really know how they were going to come out an eagle. So it means this and the hard work of the guy operating the machine who separated out the gerbil files, Gerber files, he called them gerbil, not me. Anyway, he separated all that stuff out and did all that stuff for me. Unfortunately, a big waste of his time because I screwed it up. Anyway, I'm going to try again and when it's done, I will show you the next one. Uh, so I made a mistake. They do fit. Well, almost all the parts fit. But it wasn't a total loss. Um, it's at least a demo board for how it's going to look. So I've put a lot of the components in here. I'll give you a quick close-up so you can see that now. And it looks nice. Actually, I quite like the layout of the board. And uh, it certainly made me learn a bit more about where I should put capacitors. If you notice, there's some right between the switches there, which I'll have to creatively lay down in order to make the board work. But uh, I actually think this is going to work out OK. And it looks, looks pretty good, I think. So a bit of a learning curve. But I'm printing another board now, so I'm getting another one done. Uh, which has uh, larger drill holes. So hopefully that one will be better, but I'll, um, I'll keep you informed. Uh, so more to come.